Ads are getting smarter and trackers are getting sneakier, not to mention the malware that hides in seemingly harmless ads. So today we're looking at a possible solution. In this Surfshark Clean Web review, I'll show you how a single tool that's built into your VPN can help you significantly clear up your browser. Let's go. So first things first, Surfshark Clean Web isn't a separate ad blocker tool. It comes as part of the Surfshark VPN package. The basic version of this tool is in Surfshark apps on all of your VPN compatible devices, even some smart TVs. And then there's also the enhanced Clean Web 2.0 version, which is available only through the Surfshark browser extensions. So is Surfshark Clean Web safe? Well, it follows the exact same practices as Surfshark VPN. So Surfshark's well-known no logs policy and independent audits all apply to this feature as well. On top of that, the Surfshark ad blocker boosts privacy even further since it fights back against trackers and cookies. If all of this sounds good, you can check out Surfshark Clean Web through the link in the description or simply scan this QR code. You'll also be getting an additional discount, which will make the cost of your Surfshark plan that much friendlier to your wallet. But we're not done yet. Let's see how Clean Web works. The in-app version of Surfshark Clean Web blocks ads, trackers, and malicious domains. It does this through a combination of techniques, including DNS filtering and blacklists. If you're wondering how to use Surfshark Clean Web, just turn on the VPN ad blocker in settings, and then activate a Surfshark VPN connection in whatever location you want. This is kind of the main drawback of the in-app version. It still needs a VPN connection to work. Personally, I prefer the Clean Web 2.0 version. Not only does it not require a VPN connection, it's also more effective. Once you install the Surfshark extension onto your browser and log in, you just need to click on this clean web icon on the side and enable it. For me, it gets rid of about 99.9% .9 of ads. I still occasionally notice one or two slipping through from time to time, but that's a truly rare occurrence, especially since Surfshark Clean Web blocks ads on websites in other languages too not just English. Another point in Clean Web 2.0's favor is the fact that it gets rid of cookie pop-up requests. It either refuses them automatically or accepts the mandatory cookies only. And it does all that before the page even fully loads, so I don't even see the requests anymore. Plus, Surfshark's extension also notifies you if the website you're visiting has been breached. You get this little red line with the Surfshark logo, which you can expand to see the details. If it's a malicious website, Clean Web will simply block access to it. You can toggle some of these things on and off by going into Clean Web 2.0 settings, or turn Surfshark ad blocker off for a specific website, since some pages don't work quite right with an ad blocker on. However, just know that there's a separate category in settings for all the website safety stuff, if you want to turn that stuff off or on. Now, I've been doing a lot of praising in this Surfshark Clean Web review, but where's the proof? Let's do a Surfshark Clean Web test. I ran the extreme can you block it website test this time. You can see how the website looks with and without the Clean Web 2.0 ad blocker. It easily got rid of the video ad too. Just keep in mind that the video ad capabilities are exclusive to the browser version. I also want to point out that Clean Web is a bit less effective on mobile devices. It still clears up a good chunk of the ads, but not as much as what you get with the browser extension on a PC. Now, the Cyber News research team did more extensive tests on this tool too. Our ad block test showed flawless results both with ads and trackers. Meanwhile, during our evaluation using the Cover Your Tracks website, which reveals how trackers see your browser, the in-app clean web version proved to be more effective, which is likely due to the VPN connection masking IP and DNS leak addresses. For me, the effectiveness of clean web is all the more impressive knowing that Chrome is currently cracking down on most ad blocker extensions. Even uBlock Origin didn't manage to hold up. Surfshark likely survived since it's not just an ad blocker, but a whole VPN extension. At least that's my current theory. Okay, let's talk about the other Surfshark tools bundled in their plans. Is it actually worth paying for all that stuff when you mainly just want clean web? Well, even their cheapest plan includes clean web. If you need a VPN anyway, a plan is a no brainer. Surfshark VPN is widely regarded as a great choice for both streaming and torrenting. Plus, you'll get significant privacy enhancement from the VPN, simply because it masks your IP address and encrypts your browsing data, something a regular ad blocker can't give you. The only caveat is that to get the best price, you'll need a special coupon like the one in the description, and you'll also have to pick the two-year subscription. But from my experience, it's an absolutely worthwhile investment. You'll notice an improvement in your browser feed as soon as you enable Clean Web and it's really hard to go back to an ad-stuffed browser after that. So try it out and let me know how it goes. If you wanna know more about Surfshark as a VPN or learn about what other tools you can get from them, check out a dedicated Surfshark review on our channel. 
And don't forget to like this video and subscribe too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.